I welcome everybody for today's press meet. As we know, Kanachur Hospital was established in the year 2014. And 2016, we got permission for the medical college, nursing college, other allied health colleges. And from 2016 onwards, we've got continuously batches and today we have the eighth batch coming in. Succeedingly, we've had two batches of postgraduates come in and now the third batch of postgraduate in 13 departments is joining us very soon. Well, the purpose of this press meet was to put forward to the community and the masses the interesting cases that we do here at Kanachur Hospital. First, we'll begin with the Department of Surgery wherein a, we have a middle-aged woman who presented with breathlessness and had a thyroid issue in the past. And then how the decision-making system of our Department of Surgery, of our Department of Thoracic Surgery, came up to a conclusion and gave her a new lease of life. Very interesting case. And the second case will be a, a child who had no mouth opening from the age of six or seven years and then succeedingly some surgeries were done which were not successful and finally she arrived at Kanachur Hospital to the Department of Craniofacial Anomalies and she was operated on a very interesting by jaw joint replacement procedure and today this girl who could not eat can eat her food. So we'll have these two case presentations so the format will be Initially, we will have the case presentations from the respective uh, doctor and the teams. Then we will be opening for Q&A. On the same note, I welcome the Ullal Journalist Association. I welcome the president, Mr. Vasanth. I welcome the vice president, Mr. Dinesh and Mr. Arif. And I also welcome the secretary, Mr. Sashidhar Boyadbel, for this event. And I welcome all the other teams. On the same note, I welcome our Dean, our Medical Superintendent, our, uh, our Chairman of uh, Kanachur Health Sciences Academic Council and the member, and also the Director of Kanachur Institute of Medical Sciences, Mr. Abdul Rahman. So let's have a very favorable talk and we can have a presentation from the doctors right now. Over to Dr. Kiran and his team. Thank you, everyone. So now from the Department of General Surgery, we want to present one of the very interesting case possibly misdiagnosed for a quite a long time and uh, so a 47 year old she came to us for some other minor problem that is the swelling, small swelling on her head so while we are asking the history she told that 16 years back she underwent a thyroid surgery and following which after five years she started developing a breathlessness and so she consulted a lot of doctors for the breathlessness. So she consulted for this problem that a lot of doctors and a lot of hospitals she visited. So she was started on finally without any diagnosis. So finally it was diagnosed as an anxiety disorder and she started on some of the anti-psychiatric medications. So still the patient for a quite a long time, almost for a 10 years, patient is having a continuous breathlessness, frequent admission to the hospital. Sometimes it is so severe that she should be on a oxygen support in the hospital as well. So when we got this history, so I thought, anyway, she coming for the, some other problem. We thought we will evaluate for the breathlessness issue. And we subjected her for a lot of investigations like X-ray, CT scan. And we found that, so one thyroid, nodule or thyroid tumor which is almost size of a 17 into 14 into 12 centimeter which is arising from the neck and extending into the thorax so that it enters into the back side of the thorax and compressing the uh, vessels of the heart and even the windpipe of a patient. So from this picture we understood that the cause of a breathlessness is not because of a psychiatric issue, it is because of a large tumor pressing on the windpipe. So we convinced the patient, we consoled the patient, we reassured and we are we planned for a uh, subjecting a patient for a very complex surgery that is the removal of the entire gland by opening the 
neck and the thoracotomy. So we made our team ready with the general surgery and the thoracic surgery team, Dr. Chaitra Bhatt. So we operated for almost around nine hours and we removed the entire gland, entire tumor in total uh, without any complications. Postoperatively, patient had little bit of issues and that complications are managed very well and now the patient is in the last stage of recovery and the patient is absolutely having no breathing difficulty and she was on four different psychiatric medications. Now we are able to bring down it to only one psychiatric medication and patient is very happy with the procedure. So this is one of the largest tumor, that is the largest thyroid tumor, that is, we call it as a posterior mediastinal crossover thyroid, reported in, in the India. We presented this case in a lot of international and national forums and we backed a lot of awards for the reporting such a rare case in the uh, India. So, thank you. And, it, and a very smart presentation. We will open for questions later. Now, the second uh, presentation will be uh, by Dr. Mustafa, who is the Chief of Department of uh, Craniofacial Anomalies at Kanachur. And he will be presenting a very interesting case, which was operated at Kanachur. And uh, we will also show the patient to you in a while. Members of the uh, press community, faculty of uh, the Kanachur Medical College, a very good morning. Uh, I am Dr. Mustafa. I think I have been introduced by Dr. Rohan. So here we have this, I wouldn't call it as an interesting case, but rather I would call it as a challenging case. And I will tell you briefly why it is so challenging. So this girl is from Haryana. At the age of six, uh, she had trauma to the face, particularly to the chin. And because of that trauma, she was not able to open her mouth. Because whenever there is a trauma, uh, the joint which is responsible for opening and closing the mouth, that is this joint, which is in technical terms called as temporomandibular joint, gets damaged. And if adequate treatment is not being implemented, then they could lead to fusion of the joint. And once the joint is fused, they would not be able to open the mouth. So what you see on the left-hand side is that's all she could open her mouth. There were attempts made in the past. This happened when she was six years old. At when she was 11 years old, she was operated in Delhi. She could open her mouth for a month. And then subsequently, it was zero mouth opening. Again, at the age of 17, she underwent a repeat surgery uh, in Delhi in another big hospital. Uh, again, the same story. With, uh, within a month, it reverted back. She could not open her mouth. Now, since she has not opened her mouth for so many years, that is almost more than 15 years during her growing period, the growth of her, her lower jaw has not happened. You can see that the, the lower jaw is very small. So she also does not, she didn't look very good as normal individuals do with a small uh, lower jaw. So what are the other problems besides not being able to eat because she can't open her mouth, she's unable to eat, so she had to rely on only liquid diet. Besides that, since her lower jaw is small, she also had breathing problems because she would snore in the night and that could eventually cause a lot of problems later on in the life. One of the conditions that could happen is OSA, it means obstructive sleep apnea. So that is how she was when she came to us. So she's come all the way from Haryana uh, with a lot of hope so that she could open her mouth, she can also eat well, she can look better than what she did earlier. These were her goals for seeking treatment in our hospital. So that's how she was. That's all she could open her mouth. Her mouth is always closed. And this is for the last uh, more than 15 years. And that's her x-ray. You can see that the joints are fused there. If you look at here, see. This is the joint on either side. Both the joints are fused. And that's the reason why she's not able to open the mouth. And look at her face. Her face has not grown adequately because of the loss of function. Because her jaws are not functioning. Therefore, there is no growth. So what we did is we did a computerized planning for this case. 
we decided to release that fused joint and reconstruct and give her a new joint. So this is a custom-made joint. We did a computer planning, what is called as a virtual surgical planning. This is called virtual surgical planning. We fabricated this joint and it was done in Chennai. We operated. Besides that, we also did her facial surgery simultaneously. That means we made her face to look better. So we advanced her upper face and we also advanced her lower face, in improving her airway so that she doesn't snore anymore. So she's not snoring now. So that's her after the surgery. That's how she looks. See the mouth opening. So her mouth is open now. She can eat well. She can also sleep well because earlier she had the snoring problem and she would wake up in the night. So you can see her lower jaw also has come forward. That's her. You can see the difference as far as her face is concerned. You can see those joints there and a lot of plates and screws because we have done the surgery on the face, we have osteotomized or got her bone in a correct position, both the upper face and the lower face and you can see the joint sitting there on either side. So this is the custom made joint. This is patient specific joint. This is one of the most latest treatment that we do for joint replacements and all kinds of joint. It is not only the temporomandibular joint. Uh, these kind of joint replacements are also done by orthopedic surgeons, but they do a lot of, uh, uh, they get the ready-made joints, but this is a custom-made joint. That's her. You can see the difference in, the, in her facial bones as far as this x-ray is concerned. Can you play that video? Which she could not do this function earlier. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. We have achieved now three things. She looks better. Her mouth opening as a function we have restored. We have also improved her airway. Push that pre and post last lateral cef. The airway, see, the airway is, this, this area is very narrow here. Look at it now, it has considerably improved. Therefore, her nighttime snoring has reduced. We have done a sleep study recently and her oxygen intake while sleeping is much better now what it was compared to what it was earlier. So we have also corrected the so-called obstructive sleep apnea for her. surgery <laughs> now on uh, May uh, 17th, I think. Where is the Delhi. Ah, Delhi. Where is Delhi? Delhi. 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 This joint replacement the re relapse chances are very less. But in the patients, surgery are exercise, open. So, joint replacement is open, exercise is open. In relapse chances are very less. It is not a regular kind of a surgery. One day type, uh, one day surgery only, uh, uh, the facial deformity, matte uh, joint replacement, uh, simultaneous to maadi do very less. Separate agi maadta. Iga, idu medical college aadar inda, illa orige they have a lot of benefits. Iga bare kade ide surgery maadu aadar ay, iga Delhi ali. This will cost uh, at least 15 lakhs. Private hospital. Government hospital. Private hospital. So, in the medical college, all the treatments are subsidized. It's a low cost treatment. So, they had to spend our joint together. I got a discount for them. Joint model company. 
So usually they charge around uh, 125,000 per joint. So you are again now around 90-95,000 per joint. So both joints together came less than 2 lakhs. That is 3 lakhs. The imported are per joint 9 lakhs. India Delhi Martha either. This is one of the company which does it. But the hospital do stay, do medicine charges are stay. So total over here, Illi Madi Darinda, it would have come to around 3.5 to 4 lakhs. That is a very rare presentation. There is thyroid and there is usual like it. Cut day, the other day, it is there. But Mundina Baga in the editor. He grand yak speciality and there is the Illina Bandu. Hindu Hogi Benina Baga in the editor. So in the Idi India Dali, Eric in the Moor case, such a report. I give you. He do Tumba Dodda Dali now report Matil size. The Inta conditionally surgical complication, other Tumba maximum is the higher rate. Recovery could have Tumba time the Kuru the usual. Surgery number almost eight to nine hours. I give you. Namaskar. I'm Dr. Chaitra Bhattanta. I'm a thoracic surgeon. The Edek Mudu Shastra Chikitsaka. The major problem in the thyroid and the new yellow kale board actually. In Mamanelu, there is a thyroid problem in board. In our Adiki Matrega, there is a table table. So, the thyroid grunt is usually neck a little, put the gallery. Put the gallery in the voice box in the chest, the trachea, the wind pipe. So, the problem is that the thyroid is a good wind pipe. So, in this case, the wind pipe is a good thing. That is why we have a good thing. We have a good thing. We our rings wind pipe na correct hai open it kholo. Aadre, e case hai, you ke thyroid tumba dhodda ki dresse na kuti ke liye, adu kela ke yilu do. Yede kuti ki yilu do, vada kade ho gaye, dhodda dal. Adi vada kade ho ko kaaran hai non chalo na usra arte hai, so vada kade negative pressure build arte hai, haga ki vada kade bilkul no kholo. So you ke hatu varsh din da psychiatric treatment during a manasika roga in the head with two or a psychiatric treatment to tumba sick type. So, e thyroid bhaga on the other government is here. So, adu belita hoi tura. So, in the month now x-ray maadi maadi laga, x-ray ali first kaanis kautu, matte CT scan ala maadi, a mele operation hitte gundu yao. Operation aad mele, nangi doubt it aage, wind pipe out do, तुम्बा लूज आ गयी थी, तो ऑपरेशन आप मेले फर्स्ट नंबर ट्रिक्योस्ट में मार देते हैं बंद तो, हाँ मेरे साथ तो मत तुम तो प्रॉब्लम है ना थोड़े तेरे इंटर दो पैसे ले ली वॉइस को हुआ चांसेस है तो, उनका थोड़े तेरे वॉइस बॉक्स ही के सप्लाई मार दोन था नरगलो, थायराइड ग्रंथी के ऑपरेशन Temporary tracheostomy maadi, matte tracheostomy tube and now take do, our windpipe close maadi, our ega normal agi maata adu agi, matte usir adu agi, adu idda. So, adu illi important vishya. Akkan thayla gare, yedhe kudu open maadi operation na ulang situ kuda maad te. So, dhoda vishya alla. Adare, ee thyroid yedhe kudu vadage ogi, ishtu dhoda da agi, adu ऑपरेशन आज में ले इनका कॉम्प्लिकेशन से बड़ा बंद इधर अंता बंद कंडीशन सो हाँ गागी इधर स्पेशल केस अदर ली पूरा इधर इरुवल का दर ली रेयर केस या कंधे दर ली नम्बर इंडिया दर ली इनका जो डा थायराइड इश्यू वगैरह रिपोर्ट आ गई ला दो रेट्रोसेक्टरल थायराइड्स अंतिम दर ये देखो डू वाला यार वर्षा कुंडियाँ चला ऑपरेट मारते हैं अब तो डे विषय है ला आदरे इष्ट दौड़ दो 
ಇದು ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕ್ರೆಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಒತ್ತುವಂತ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಅನ್ನ ಒತ್ತಿ ಕ್ರೆಕ್ಯ ಮಲೇಷ್ಯ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಗಳು ತುಂಬಾ ರೇರ್ ಇದು ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ರೇರ್ ಬರೀ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೇರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇರ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಇಂತಹ ಕೇಸ್ ಗಳು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಿಮಗೊಂದು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಮಿತ್ರರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಎರಡು ವಿಭಾಗಗಳು ಅದು ಕ್ರೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನಾಮಲೀಸ್ ಅದರ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾದಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುಸ್ತಫಾರ್ ಅವರು ಹಾಗೂ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಎದೆಗೂಡು ಇದರ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಚಿಕಿತ್ಸ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಕರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚೈತ್ರ ಭಟ್ ಇವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ವಿಶೇಷವಾದಂತಹ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಪರೂಪವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಕೇಸಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಮೂಲಕ ತಮ್ಮ ಗಮನಕ್ಕೆ ತಂದು ಅದನ್ನು ಜನರಿಗೆ ತಿಳಿವಳಿಕೆ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರು ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಡೀನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರತ್ನಾಕರ್ ಸರ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ನ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸೂಪರಿಂಟೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರೀಶ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಅವರು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸರಿ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಇಸ್ಮಾಯಿಲ್ ಸರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಚೇರ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸರಿ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟರಾಯ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಸರ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರೋಹನ್ ಮೋನಿಸ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಇದು ಹಾಗೂ ನನ್ನ ಸಮೇತ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಮಿತ್ರರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಂವಾದ ಇದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಜನರಿಗೆ ತಿಳಿ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವಾಗಿದೆ ಇದು ಯಾಕೆಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಇಸ್ವಿಯಿಂದ ಶುರುವಾಗಿ ಈಗ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ ಮೂರು ಇನ್ನು ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷವನ್ನು ನಾವು ದಾಖಲಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಈ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಜರ್ನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇನ್ಫೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಹಾಸಿಗೆಯುಳ್ಳ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಿ ಈಗ ಸಾವಿರದ ಇನ್ನೂರು ಬೆಡ್ಗಳ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಮಟ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದು ತಲುಪಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಈ ಭಾಗದ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಜ ನೆರೆಯ ಕೇರಳ ಹಾಗೂ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಮೂಲೆ ಮೂಲೆಯಾದಂತಹ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಿಂದಲೂ ಜನರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಸೇವೆ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರ ಏನು ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರಿಹಾರವನ್ನು ಹುಡುಕುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂತಹ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ವೈದ್ಯರು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ತಂಡ ಹಾಗೂ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಯವರು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಪೂರಕವಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಇಚ್ಛಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಇದೇ ಥರ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂತಹ ಅನೇಕ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಗಳು ನಡೆದಿ ನಡೆದಿ ನಡೆದು ನಡೆಯುವಾಗ ಅದು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೂ ನಾವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ವಿಶೇಷವಾದಂತಹದ್ದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚೈತ್ರ ಭಟ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಬಹುಶಃ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಜಗತ್ತಿನಲ್ಲೇ ಅಪರೂಪದ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದರಿಂದಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಇದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆನೂ ಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೂ ಅಂಥ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಆದರೂ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರು ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ವೈದ್ಯರ ಸಲಹೆ ಸೂಚನೆ ಮೇರೆಗೆ ಅವರು ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಆ ರೋಗಿಗೆ ರೋಗವನ್ನು ರೋಗ ರೋಗವನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಸ್
ಪರಿಶೀಲಿಸಿ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗದಂತಹ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಅದರ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದು ಸಿ ಟಿ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾಸೌಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹಾಯ ಇದು ಅದನ್ನು ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಅದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಅವರು ಹಾಗೂ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚೈತ್ರನ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸಂದುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಕ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಯಾಕೆಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ರೇಡಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಟೀಮ್ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಟೀಮ್ ಆಗಿರೋದರಿಂದ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅದು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಯಿತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ ಸೊ ಇದೊಂದು ಟೀಮ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಅವರು ಅವ್ರು ಮಾತ್ರ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗಳು ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಥೊರಾಕ್ಸಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಇದು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಇವ್ರದ್ದು ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಇವರು ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸೇರಿ ಇಂಥ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಪೇಷಂಟಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಒಂದೇ ಸೂರಿನಡಿ ಒಂದೇ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕಲ್ಪಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೂಲಕ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಬಯಸ್ತೇವೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಈ ಇದನ್ನು ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಆ ಜನರ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಕಂಡುಕೊಳ್ಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಈ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುಸ್ತಫನವರ ಕೇ ಕೇಸ್ ದೂರದ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ರಾಜ್ಯದಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೂರದಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಹುಡುಕೊಂಡು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತಿರದಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ದಿಲ್ಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಸತಿ ಅವರು ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮಾಡಿಯೂ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಫೈನಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಿಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೂರದಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ವೈದ್ಯರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಫಲಕಾರಿ ಆಗಲಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಬಯಸ್ತೇವೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಪೆಹಲೆ ಮೂ ನೈ ಕುಲ್ತ ಆಮೇ ಬಹುತ ಖುಷಿ ಆಮೇ ಲಡಕಿ ಕಮ್ಮ ಕುಲ್ಲೆ ಲಗ ಬಡಿಯಾ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಯ ಮಾಡೇ ಬಡಿಯಾ ಅಚ್ಚಿ ಹಮೇ ಸೋಜ ಮಿಲಿ ಹೈ ಬಸ್ ಬಹುತ ಅಚ್ಚ ಲಗ ಹಮಾರ ಬಹುತ ಸಾಥ ದಿಯ ಅನುರಾಗ್ ಸರ್ ನೇ ದೋಸ್ತ ಮುಸ್ತಫಾ ಸೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಜಿ ಬಹುತ ಸಾಥ ದಿಯ ಹಮಾರ ಹಮಕ್ಕೂ ಬಹುತ ಖುಷಿ ಹೈ ಯೇ ದೋ ಬಾರ ರೋಹತಕ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಐ ಮೇ ಕಿಯಾ ಹೈ ಓ ಎಕ್ ಬಾರ ಮೌಲಾನ ಆಜಾದ್ ಮೇ ಕಿಯಾ ಹೈ ಓರ್ ದೋ ಬಾರ ಯಾ ಪೇ ಚುಕಾ ಹೈ ಪಾಂಚ ಬಾರ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಹೋ ಚುಕಾ ಹೈ ಇನಕಾ ಹಾಂ ಯಾ ಪೇ ಆಕೆ ಬಹುತ ಕಾಫಿ ಮಹಸೂಸ ಅಚ್ಛಾ ಹೈ ಹಮ ದೋ ಹಜಾರ ದಸ ಬಹುತ ಕಮ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ಮೇ ತೆ ಅವರ ಕ್ಯಾ ಬೋಲೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಲ್ ಅನು ಅತುಲ್ ಉನ್ನ ಯಾ ಪೇ ಭೇಜ ಹೈ ಜೋ ಕರ್ನಾಲ್ ಕೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅತುಲ್ ಜಿ ಹೈ ಓರ್ ಅನುರಾಗ್ ಸರ್ ವಾ ಪೇ ಹಮಾರೆ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ಕೆ ಹೈ ಬಹುತ ಅಚ್ಛ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಆಯ್ support beku we can do a lot of things forward thank you so much and have a good day